All right, guys, it is a dreary, dreary day here in the end times at Bugs in a Jar Farm on Saturday afternoon, August 28th, 2021. So I am out here in my compost pile. This is the Hambone Little Tail. Now, you're not going to see the main way I compost, but this is how I start. So I bring all of my garden scraps and... Let's see, then we would, oh yeah, add the, uh, where did those eggs come from? Anyway, so you add your uh, tomatoes and eggs and coffee grounds. And we're just going to, uh, we're just going to add, this is my 100 ears of corn that I processed yesterday. 100 ears of corn. All right. <laughs> now, unfortunately, what you're not going to see. So what I would, what I'm going to do is, when I come out to mow uh, in the next few days, I just take my mulcher mower. My, you know, I got a mulcher and composter on my lawnmower, and I just run over this shit. I just go back and forth and mulch it and it goes spraying out all over the yard and uh should be fine compost but anyway we have a special guest today he's going to rate my compost this is brother uh uh oh david simonson david simonson <laughs> say hello to the folks brother david simonson Hello, tribe. Has nice to taken uh, my you might offer. might recognize me from some videos such as going to a restaurant in Ithaca during the Corona panic. Yes, there you go. But uh, so you just come from a from a compost uh, composting lecture uh, in Ithaca. Uh, uh, yeah, so I, I'm a I'm a certified master composter. So we have a community compost in Ithaca that I kind of help out and volunteer at as I'm required to as part of my commitment to the program. And so, yeah, Hambone asked me to, to evaluate <laughs> his uh, compost pile. How am I doing? Am I following all the protocols that you... <laughs> well, let's first say what you're doing right. Okay, you want to have generally access to a lot of sunlight. To yeah. Hot. Well, if the that. fucking sun ever comes out, look at it, you know. Now, often, if you were in a place that got, like, a small or medium amount of rainfall, you'd want it to be perhaps somewhat covered. And you want a balance of basically sunlight and moisture. But upstate New York, especially this summer, you're getting no shortage of moisture. No shortage. So out in the sun is definitely where you want to have it. Um, <laughs> and of course, any pile of vegetables put together will eventually become compost. Uh, but if you want it to happen a little bit faster to use it, you want to be balancing your greens and your browns. So greens is basically, you know, your high nitrogen, fresh, weeds and greens and veggies that's going to compost quickly you got to balance though which have more browns like newspaper or leaves dried leaves so really corn you, cobs um what do they count as i got a hundred of the fuckers yeah they're kind of somewhere in between because they uh they are fresh but then they're also kind of they take longer to to obviously decompose not so, when they get hit by a fucking uh, mulcher mower. They that's take, true. They, that's they good. You are take breaking, about a half a second. You're breaking things down into small piles. Ah, uh, real quick. <laughs> so the other thing you might want to have too is ideally you have it on a layer of sticks <laughs> to kind of have air flowing in. It's key you want to have air flow in your compost. And to kind of have layers too as you build it, kind of put some sticks there, <laughs> maple leaves, maple branches, to kind of get air flow in the compost. Yeah. So really the main things you're missing is the sticks sticks or to help airflow <laughs> and some brown dry matter um but other than that you know this is uh, you gotta just worry it could become a methane soup if you had if you don't have any dry matter so that's kind of the downside you because it, it can quickly go anaerobic with all this moisture just kind of making it all kind of soggy no airflow so my grade i'm gonna give given the fact that you haven't given it any thought at all <laughs> i'll give you a b minus a b minus well if we had brought the damn mower out here with us, well, once you see what this is going to look like, I'm going to do a follow-up video in a few days if the fucking grass ever dries up and where I can mow it. See what it looks like when I when I hit it with the mulcher mower. But the most important lesson, folks, is get out there and compost while you still can. Uh, well, whatever your style, 
be it the hand bone little tail, uh, hit it with the fucking mower style. And, you know, of course, when I hit it with the mower, I mean, it goes spraying everywhere. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's not like I can ever use it, but it's still, you know, I mean, it's fertilizing. It's fertilizer. It's nature. It's nature doing its thing. So, uh, all right. So, Mr. Simonton has, uh, he's coming down here to raid this garden. So, uh, my one taker. My one taker from my rant yesterday uh, in Ithaca, New York, has come down, and I've told this man we're going to get busy, and I'm turn him loose. He's got corn, okra, kale, basil, tom peppers, tomatoes, green beans, and of course uh, hundreds of ears of corn, however many he wants to take. So we're going to so go. So all you people listen on Pile of Fish or any other websites, <laughs> you'd be a fool not to move in with this Doomer dude. What do you have to say this? to Dulcinea about her decision not to uh, take advantage of this universal, th th this bounty from the universe? being heaped on her plate just to just to just to say no to it see the key thing you got to get in there with the you know doomer doomstead before collapse because yeah. if you wait till after well then there's going to be no shortage of people knocking on the door so if you want to get yourself a secure spot in a nice beautiful doomstead with a bountiful flow of crops you got to make sure you move in pre-collapse so uh are you listening dulcinea <laughs> all right we're off to uh gather the bounty while we still can. Bye guys.